but congratulations on getting there. Third time lucky, three times in stories. This time it opened its mouth and it went. <laughs> and it went. <laughs> and only its mouth did come smoke and flame and fire. And the dragon said, Yes, I'm that. And it spread its bat like wings and it soared up to the air and it did swoop down on the city of Arizal and it did have its dinner. Do you know what it had for dinner? People. You knew it. We didn't just have any people, it ate children. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah? It didn't. Some parents would be happy, wouldn't they? <laughs> it, it didn't just eat any children, no. It ate girls. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm so I'm I'm sorry, girls. She thought boys were a bit too smelly and skanky. Yeah. Uh. And that day, he was getting a bit past it. He said, "Oh, have I got to go and fight a dragon? I don't know why he's your tracks." He, he said, "Have I got to go and fight?" And he said, "Yes, you have. Get thy lance." So he got his lance like this, right? Which is his lance and his shield, and 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 they hoisted up to his horse. They got his armor out. They oiled it up with a WD-40, and they put him on his horse. And he, and he waited outside for the return of the terrible dragon. There it was, spiraling towards them. And the guy said, Have a thee, foul fiend from hell, prepare to meet thy doom, for I shall slay thee. And the dragon said, Come on then, bring it on. <laughs> so it charged! And the dragon opened his mouth and ate it. Ooh, that was disgusting. And it spat the armour out and, and, and ate seven more girls to take the taste away. <laughs> well, after that, the, the knights came from all over the land. Sir Gary of Gosport, Sir Loopy of Little Woodham, Sir Perry of Pompey and Sir Sammy of Southampton. They all came to fight the dragon and they all got eaten up. And, and, and then, well, after a while, they stopped coming. They did make excuses. They did say, I would like to come and fight thy terrible dragon. But the trouble is, um, I've got doctor's note, sickness, I'm not very well. <laughs> got sickness and diarrhoea. Do you know how to spell diarrhoea? Yeah, I do. Do you? You don't, do you? Yeah. No one knows how to spell diarrhoea. I do. You know how to spell diarrhoea? Do you know what? Children, when they're absent from school because they've got Alton Towers-itis or something like that, <laughs> the, the parents always do say sickness and diarrhoea on, on the note. And they always spell diarrhoea wrong. You'd think you'd go to invent something. You'd invent something you can spell, wouldn't you? Anyway, they, they, they wouldn't come. And do you know who it was in the end who defeated the terrible dragon? Jim Polk, the baker's boy. Well, there was a bakery in, in Limitster where they made lovely bread and lardy cake. Mm, that's good for you. And, and pies and pasties and donuts. Do you like donuts? Do you like jam donuts? No. Apple donuts? No. No? Um, custard donuts? Chocolate donuts? I thought so. With sprinkles. But what Jim did, he baked a pie which was as big as this clearing, and it was a big meat and potato pie. The smell that came off it was lovely. Ah, oh, but then Jim went into the woods. He went up to a toadstool called Flyer Garrick. That'd be the red one with the white spots. And he mashed up his fingers, and he mashed up his fingers, and he put it in the pie.